What's up guys, it's Jensen. It's been a while, a long while actually. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jensen. I am female to male transgender, which means I was born as female and I transitioned into being a male. I am about a year and a half post top surgery, which means I got my chopped off and I'm a five years on testosterone. Disclaimer, technically I'm four years and nine months on testosterone, uh, but we're rounding up for this one, okay? So I woke up feeling a little gender euphoric today, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to look through my past videos and I thought it's interesting to react to one of my most popular videos, the most popular video I have, which is my one year on T video. For time's sake, I'm not going to be putting in the whole video here just because it is uh, quite a long video, but feel free to check it out. I'll link it up here at the top. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to be adding commentary from present day Jensen four years later. It would be great if I already had it up, wouldn't it? Let's see. Jensen and today is March 1st, 2018, and I am one year on testosterone today that blows my f I haven't seen this. I don't remember the last time I saw it. I don't really quite watch uh, videos once I post them. Mine, not because I thought I was ugly or anything. <laughs> I mean, look at me. But the purpose of this video is comparison, so I feel that they need to be included. I mean, I was right. Especially to see how This is the day I came out publicly, AKA on Instagram. I should not have included that photo um, of me and my dog. I love my dog to death, <clears throat> but she had just gotten eye surgery um, and it, she still had stitches in this photo. Like that's maybe not that great, but besides the point, we digress. I had my endo appointment and I didn't know that I was gonna get the shot that day. So it kind of took me off guard. So when I came home, I was ecstatic. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jensen. It is February. It is March 1st, 2017, and I just got my first shot of testosterone. It took me a- What's funny is, in my head, I still think that I sound like that, even though I know that I don't, because I can hear it. I can hear it in my chest. You know what I mean? But like, it's still in my head that maybe that's what I sound like to other people. And so maybe I don't pass. I know it's like this weird thing, but like, that's how it feels sometimes. Physically, hair was a slow and steady race. Still is actually. Um, this is about all I can grow as of right now. It's like... That hasn't changed my... Uh, I mean, this comes in a lot. I have to shave this kind of often. And, and this I kind of just cut down or trim with like one of those eyebrow pencils. You know what I mean? Uh, it's definitely more than I had though. It's definitely noticeable now if I don't touch it. But my leg hair in the previous pictures, I really thought it was never gonna grow. Like it was just never gonna get thick and like, like other people's, you know? But looking at the photos now, uh, my hair has probably gotten like twice as much as that. So that kind of makes me feel good. Moving on to my sexy bod. Oh no. Uh, well, I gained at least 20 pounds, but that's kind of still a work in progress. I will say though, it is so much easier to gain muscle. Honestly, I have no idea where it those is. 20 It's so much easier to gain muscle and it's so much harder to lose that muscle. Like I really have to not do anything for a while, which does happen, you know, occasionally from time to time. I might be lazy, but. After the two month mark, I started breaking out pretty bad and this was really only the beginning. The, I missed a good portion of my transition in that in that really important period, I think. And a part of me kind of regrets it, uh, regrets not taking pictures like that. But I was like really self-conscious because of my acne. And even when it started clearing up, like it was red. I mean, it was really red if you like look at the, like the video. And, and so alone, like I was looking for confidence on being a man. I was looking at confidence for my face. I was looking at confidence for my body, for my lack of hair, for my voice, for pretty much everything. I was trying to find it. And I can tell that I found it. You know what I mean? Like when I'm filming that video, I can tell, I can see, I found it somewhere in there. 
there's like hope. You know, I don't mean to be like super corny, but it's it. I can see that I'm happy and that's really cool to see. 2017 and today is my shop day. So I actually don't do shots. I actually don't do shots anymore. I do uh, gel. I haven't made an update about that. I've only been on the gel for about three months now and um, it's way better. I mean, I preferred the shots in the beginning of my transition just for speed purposes, I guess. But the gel is definitely a lot easier, a lot easier to do. Um, but because it is every day, I, it is a lot easier to miss because it has to be around the same time. So I've had a few days where I do miss it and it's equivalent to missing, to being like a few days late on your shot is what I would say. Being off on the time by maybe a few hours is equivalent to like being days late on your shot, which kind of sucks. It's the only down part, but I still prefer the gel, I think. If you guys have any questions about the gel, just let me know. I haven't really talked about it because it's only been three months. It's only been a few months, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. One being, I'm definitely still getting used to the men's restroom. It's not as foreign as it once was, but I still feel slightly uncomfortable in there. I don't know, does that ever like go away? <laughs> it does, it does go away. Just so, just so we're all aware. That feeling is long gone. I don't know when it went away, but I would feel kind of odd going into a woman's restroom now instead of the men's restroom. Another thing I've noticed Personally. is that men still have standards and they're actually just as valid as women's. I'm not saying that to be an asshole, but I'm saying that because I've seen both sides and it's it's the same. You have standards for both genders and it and it's kind of sucks. Being able to pass as a guy now, as a, a guy who appears to be cis, there's like expectations. I don't think I would I'd use that word. I don't think I would use standards um, for the phrase of being a man, but I would definitely use expectations instead, just because there are a lot of expectations that are put on me that I never asked for, in the same sense that women have, you know, standards to keep up with that they didn't ask to be placed on them, but, but are, unfortunately. And um, honestly, now I found a, a comfort in those expectations, because it makes me feel like more of a man maybe it shouldn't maybe that's toxic thinking but if somebody asked me oh can you help me lift this versus if they ask you know this girl can you help me lift this which they never really would um they would ask me that makes me feel good and maybe it shouldn't but it does and i work out so i'm like oh cool i'm like this super you know buff guy but i'm not at all uh it just it's just a nice feeling i think i guess i'm making a video about all the social changes that i've experienced because there's been a lot all right on to the mushy stuff overall this last year there's been a lot of social changes past this video past filming this video i think not because i've looked more like a guy um but because i've looked like an older guy so here this was for one this was uh three four years ago right so and i looked very young i think social changes come more also with age and with who i'm around so at the time um even mostly now but definitely at the time i was mostly really only around women and i looked you know like like that i looked young and like a baby so those didn't really apply, but now I'm older and now those social changes are different because now I could be in a group of guys, a group of older guys, you know, 25, 26, 28, whatever. And there's different types of thinking there. There are different types of maturity levels there. And that has to be mentioned when talking about social changes. I think about it now anyway, and I think that they should be but mentioned. I'm really thankful that they came slow and that they're still coming because I can look in the mirror and I know that person, you know? He's not a stranger, but I can look at him. The more I've grown, the more I've like been passing, the more changes I've developed, I guess, after this video. I am super thankful that 
the changes come, came slow because then I can still be relatable. I'm still me. I still don't. I feel like I didn't lose any part of me in order to rush to get to this version of me. You know what I mean? And that's really cool. You know, he's not a stranger, but I can look at old pictures of me and she's not a stranger either. And I really like that. It's been a year of self-love, of self-confidence, of happiness, of positivity. And I think trans or not, we can all agree with this. I am the best me when I'm surrounded by people who allow me to be my best me. So thank you for following this journey if you've been in it, even if it's just by watching these lame ass videos. Thank you for watching me grow into a more confident, productive, charismatic, positive version of myself. All right, enough of the gation. Let me know if you guys have any questions about going on tea or what happens on tea or really anything at all. My arms are wide, wide open. Don't forget, make it a good day today, guys, and I will see you soon. I... I think... Excuse me. I think a lot of people uh, don't realize, and this you don't have to be trans to relate to this, but I think a lot of people don't realize how empowering it is to be yourself and to be completely yourself, unforgivably yourself, because looking at this video from four years ago, I can tell that I became happy, that I made myself happy, that I did something for me that made me happy. And and you can see it. Anybody who's anybody can see this and, and look at that kid and be like, he's happy. You know, nobody saw how sad I was or how depressed I was or how confused I would have been prior to transitioning or prior to even thinking that I could be trans but I did and and I'm not that anymore you know it's almost surreal to look at uh, a video of me speaking like that because as much as I still feel that way I can definitely tell that I was like on some sort of high um, you know like a yeah, like a, just a life high, like a, oh, I'm myself, like, this is how it feels like to just live your life and not have to worry about this, 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 or that. And you're just like chilling. Like that was me chilling. And that was nice. That was nice to uh, look through. I can tell that I was happy and I still am happy. I can just definitely tell I was like on a high um, from my life. And as somebody should be, you know, everybody's around me who I love and loves me for me and nothing else so if you stuck around and you watch this video and you watch that video when it came out i just want to say thank you thank you for experiencing this with me not necessarily you know transitioning but just becoming me uh that's something that i hope everyone can experience in their lifetime it just to be so comfortable to be themselves that everyone feels comfortable to be themselves around you and if more people were comfortable like that, then everyone, it would just be easy for everyone to be themselves, to love themselves and to love everybody around them. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys and feel free to check out any of my social media. Um, it's Jensen Crab, one word. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more content. This was just a random idea. I woke up, started feeling kind of nostalgic and I thought I would post it. So yeah, as always guys, make it a good day today and I will see you soon. Thank you.